Hey, welcome in. Well, I absolutely love the Let's Go Brandon meme. I find it absolutely hilarious. And I want it to go global. Anywhere that somebody in the media or a politician says something that everybody knows is wrong and fake, I want to hear a resounding chant of Let's Go Brandon. Anywhere that there's an injustice, let it be heard. Let's go, Brandon. And everybody at this point knows that let's go is fuck Joe and Brandon is Biden. And I call on you, whoever is your personal Biden. The next time they tell you something that you just know isn't real, you tell them, you look them in the eyes and you tell them, let's go, Brandon. Well, now in the unlikely chance that you don't know what this is all about, here's what happened. So crowds have been chanting, fuck Joe Biden, all over the United States. It became a common occurrence. And then something magical happened. A crowd was chanting it at a NASCAR event. They were chanting, fuck Joe Biden. But a reporter who was covering the event, according to a Yahoo News here, mistook the chant by a NASCAR crowd as, let's go Brandon. <laughs> causing the blip to become an internet meme. It even has a song that's gone viral. Now, part of what makes this meme funny is that nobody thinks the reporter mistook uh, fuck Joe Biden for let's go Brandon. Nobody thinks that that's real. That reporter knew what they were chanting and was covering for whatever reason. But it's just so symbolic of what the media has been doing constantly for years. And this time it happened in the most hilarious of fashions. And thus the Let's Go Brandon meme was born. What a glorious sight to behold. Pure gold. Here's another one. I was standing there and yes, they were chanting, Let's Go Brandon. <laughs> Here's another masterpiece. Name's Joe, but my friends call me Brandon. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. This one is very good. And I guess we have to look at what the first letter of each word spells. Foxtrot, Uniform, Charlie, Kilo, Juliet, Oscar, Echo, Bravo, India, Delta, Echo, November. Roger, let's go, Brandon. <laughs> this stuff is just pure gold. Oh, here's another nice one. Oh, parts, they're going to help kick this thing off. All right, guys, ready? In three, two, one. Drivers, start your engines. Let's go, Brandon. What a good kid. What a great kid. And that's the thing about this, is that everybody knows what it actually means. Everybody knows what it actually means to say, let's go, Brandon. But it's conveyed in such an innocent way that even a child can say it, and it's not offensive. That's the genius behind the let's go, Brandon meme. And yeah, it's a complete accident, but it's a beautiful accident. It's a brilliant accident, and it works on multiple levels. I mean, for one, it's just obvious displeasure with the administration and the president, and it also is a clear mockery of the fakery of the media and of the political class. And then on the deepest level, it mocks the simple denial of reality, because as we know, that crowd was not really chanting, let's go, Brandon. We know that that is artificial. And what isn't these days? Biden has a fake White House set across the street. For some reason, Kamala Harris auditions child actors for a video that's intended to give her the illusion of authenticity. In fact, I'm sure that her handlers held like a focus group uh, that suggested that, you know, people like children, right? Because they probably didn't know that before. We've been continually told things about the pandemic, which were absolutely true until they weren't. And then at that point, I guess we have to pretend that all the things we heard before, we didn't hear. I mean, nothing seems to be on the level. There was a 95% negative narrative about Trump from the mainstream media. There was the Covington kids. There was Hunter Biden's laptop. There was Russian collusion. There was Joe Biden is healthy and mentally fit. That $3.5 trillion costs nothing. Everything is the opposite of what they say it is. So the Let's Go Brandon meme mocks the Orwellian state of politics and media. 
It notices when uh, things are becoming like the Soviet Union, where people had to say things that everyone knew weren't true. It reminds me of that old joke from the Soviet Union. Uh, they pretend to pay us and we pretend to work. It's beautiful because it mocks the utter fakeness of the institutions. It mocks the denial of reality we see in the eyes of our leaders and in the texts that the news anchors read from their teleprompters. And I think that the Let's Go Brandon meme is too big for Joe Biden. It doesn't just work as satire for Joe Biden. It, it works for so much more. It works for CNN, MSNBC, The New York Times, delusional professors, pandering sports leagues, Hollywood. It should cross borders because it works just as well for the CBC, for the BBC. It mocks the leaders in Australia. It mocks Justin Trudeau because they are all one and the same. They are all Brandon. Again, it mocks the denial of reality. So it's the perfect meme for the Western world. And the disease of wokeness and delusion that has infected the halls of power across it. Whatever borders you reside within, when you notice that your emperor has no clothes, raise your voice and let it be heard. Let's go, Brandon. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Please subscribe, like, and share. That really helps me out. If you just like to listen, there's the podcast, Radio Baloney. It's on pretty much every platform. If you look for it, you will find it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.